In this video, I'm going to show you how to structure your offense so that you can attack the entire field with one formation. And I'm also going to share with you kind of a principle that can cross apply to any offense that you might be wanting to run. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Also, if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure that you check out the Patreon. That's where you'll get access to all of my full offensive and defensive ebooks where we break down complete schemes, tutorial videos, um, and basically everything you need to dominate on both sides of the ball. If you want to check that out, the link is in the description. $10 will get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Now, I wanted to do a video today that I wanted to – I've actually been wanting to do this for a while, but I didn't have the right – um, I just, I don't know. I just didn't have the right, I guess, um, stuff in my head to do the video because I don't know exactly, uh, I didn't know exactly kind of, again, how to simplify it so that it can make sense to everybody. So, um, the basic premise of the video is this. If you watch the ultimate wildcard tournament, one of the things that you might've noticed is that the pro players were largely running basically a handful of concepts. And if you can whittle things down to their most basic form, it really does help you kind of start to understand how you can take a concept and apply it across apply it to, to multiple formations. Now I'm gonna show you the number one concept that was ran in the ultimate wild card. I'm gonna talk about why it's such a good play and you could do it out of literally anything. So I'm gonna come out in the play tight in the formation tight slots just for the purpose to show you this, I'm actually going to use to play PA full shot because we're actually going to create everything with Hot Route Master. And if you have a Hot Route Master quarterback or even a slot apprentice or tied in apprentice, you can pretty much do that this year with the way the with, with the way the game plays. You can pretty much just create your own concepts. So what we're going to do is this. This route to CD Lamb is you know kind of a unique route. If you watch it here, you're going to see here that if I freeform that down to the outside, a lot of times that's going to be a good little man being route. So I can kind of build around that play uh, for this. But really the base concept that we were seeing over and over again in the Ultimate Wild Card Tournament was some variation of the following. They would take their tight end, and they would put him on a post. They would take their slot, they would put him on a slant, and then they would have a clear out and maybe a clear out. Something like this, or maybe this guy would be on a corner, or maybe that guy would be on uh, what we just showed you, where he is going to be on this little angled, um, this little angled corner route. You could even motion this guy out and put him on a C route. The basic concept, though, if you reduce it down to the most simple form, is the shallow cross concept. I'll show you some other uh, variations of this that we were seeing here in just a second. But again, the concept is the two-man game between the slant and the post combo. Now, you might have seen this in a couple of different ways. For example, another way that you could get at the same basic concept would be to do something like this, where you have your running back on a seam wheel, this flat route is gonna pull zones outside, and then you can do something like this, right? So the beauty of this is you're still running this slant post concept, it's just now you're merging that with a running back wheel route that is really good against cover two style blitzes. And so again, the core principle is the slant post concept. Now the number two concept that I saw ran at a very uh, significant clip in the Men 23 Ultimate Logical Tournament was a flood concept. Now, a flood concept can mean a lot of different things and a lot of different variations, but in essence, what we're going to do here is we're going to streak the left side receiver and we're going to have a corner route to the to the slot receiver. Now, another way to get at the same basic thing is you could take the left side slot receiver, put him on a fade, and then you could put the left outside receiver on a corner route. Now, another thing that we were seeing a lot of was, you know, some kind of variation like this, where you basically have this drag and then you have this post route coming over the middle of the field. This post route could have also been a smart route to dig. So you see here, you've got your flooding combination to the left side, and then if that's not available, then typically that's going to mean that the middle of the field is going to be open, or we're going to be able to take, you know, this simple check down game, which I'll show you this real quick. So let's say that the user goes uh, to defend the corner, or they put a little bit more resources into the corner route, then all of a sudden what you're going to see is I'm going to have the ability to take my tight end route over the middle of the field, which is going to then force the zones to come up, and we're going to have to, uh, and they're going to have to stop us that way. So that was the second, num like the most popular concept, that was the second. Now, the third most popular concept is um, kind, of, um, kind of a little bit of an interesting one. Uh, really, it's this basic idea of a corner and an out route. And then the other thing that we were getting a lot of with this play is kind of different variations on the right side of the, of the screen. One of the things that you, know, you might get is do so something like this over here on the left, and then you might, you know, kind of combine it like 
with a little seam route or something like this. This is another variation of it. But basically this idea of you're going to have your out route and your corner route. So if they're in zone, you're going to hit your out route. If they're in man, you're going to hit your corner route. If they're in cover two. And really what this is, the more that you think about it, really what this is, is this is a smash concept. If you actually boil down bench, bench is variation of a smash concept. Because if you think about it, if you were in a spread set, then you would be running a hitch and a corner. If you're in a tight set, then you're running an out route in a corner or a flat route in a corner, right? So again, that's this, the third main concept as you were seeing this bench where you try to throw that corner out right in that little pocket right there against different types of zones. So those were the main couple of different uh, concepts that we were seeing. Um, and then, you know, obviously some of your other standard stuff, such as I said, like running back, any kind of seam wheel. One of the other ones that I thought was interesting was basically this idea that we're going to do something like this, right? But now what we're going to do is we're going to have a hitch. Now, this is a really good play for cover two style blitzes because now they're not running into the user. You're going to have him sit there. Now, if it was man, you wouldn't want to run that. But that's honestly kind of a variation of slant post. It's just hitch post. Now, I want to put all this together. We're going to take it and go to any formation in Madden. It doesn't matter what formation you're in. And I'm going to show you how you can create a top level offense by using the principles and then also using space on the field to create a lot of opportunities for your offense. So a formation that I literally have never ran before um, is this trips Y flex. And we are just going to essentially from an audible perspective, you can kind of look for whatever unique routes, whatever you want to look for here. But really the main thing I'm looking for is what do I need? Okay, I need a slot apprentice. Maybe I just need Hot Rod Master in general. If I'm going to run this, I'm probably going to need a Hot Rod Master in general. We're going to have inside zone, post hitch post, four verticals as that nice crosser and seam route. And then PA switch dig, we could use that one. We could use the stick play. We could use halfback counter, 56 trap, right? Go double post to me is probably the best option. So we're going to go with that. And then we'll come out in this play action switch dig just to give us five access to five different plays. Now, another thing that we were seeing a lot in the Ultimate Wildcard Tournament was essentially this idea that we're going to come out and then we're going to audible to a play. Now, I'm not going to do that in this breakdown, but that's that's a, another layer to everything. But the main thing that we want to hit on here is how can you run the best concepts from any formation? Glad that you asked that. So let's say that we want to run the first one, the most popular one, which is the slant post or the shallow cross. What we're going to do with this formation is we know that the C route to the left side is really effective. So what I like to do is take that left side player and we're going to put him on a C route. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this tight end and you can either leave him on this default in or you can take him and put him on a smart routed or a, I apologize, a slot apprentice post. Then from there, um, you know, what I like to do is kind of, again, start working this backside game. So we're going to take CeeDee Lamb, we're going to put him on a slant, and we're just going to motion him across the formation. And what you're going to see here is this is basically the shallow crossing concept. We have a slant post concept over the middle. We have play action blocking to help pick up pressure. We also have the C route on the backside that can, can handle man coverage. Now, I want to show you why this is also a really good read against zone coverage. This route to this wheel route to Herman Moore, you could also turn this into a flat route or an out route if you wanted to. But that guy's job is to pull zones out and back. And then what you're going to see here is the slant route is going to kind of get into the soft spot of that zone. Now, one of the other things that's really kind of a little bit more, I guess, recent for me, recent discovery, is that when you run this C route to the left side, if you if – you, um, if you need to, this route can actually pull zones. So you'll see right here, they're going to pull the zones back, and then the tight end was coming open, you know, kind of later into that into that read. So that's how you can kind of a, a very, fairly simplified variation of how you can run the shallow cross concept. Now, another thing that you might want to know how to do is how do I run the shallow cross concept without motioning somebody over? Well, what we're going to do in this example is we're going to go ahead and take that tight end, and we're going to put him on a slant. And then we're going to take Michael Thomas on the left side and put him on a smart routed in. Now, maybe another, you know, play could we could do this out of if we look through these, maybe this gold double post play, right? But the bottom line is it's just that simple. Now, from here, what I would recommend with the running back here is we're going to go ahead and actually protect with the running back or we're going to sneak the running back out on a, on a route. Now, the other thing that you have going for you in this slant post piece is, you know, now we can go with a C route and maybe a vertical route to the right side to clear zone. 
So again, same basic concept, except this time the slant post is going to the left side. Okay, so you see how you're running the same thing. You're just running it from a different formation and you're running it slightly different in terms of how you're going to attack. Now, what about the seam wheel? We talked about the seam wheel being really uh, a good concept as well. Uh, all you're going to do is you can take running back, put him on a wheel. You're going to take your left side receiver, put him on an out. And then what I like to do here is you got to understand, kind of navigate a little bit um, with this formation. It is a little bit different. But what I like to do is streak my tight end, and then I'm going to drag the circle receiver. So the user is going to have to go to the left side if it's zone. If it's main coverage, I can check it down to this little, little dig route right here. Now, another way to get at the same basic thing would be to take this uh, tight end, put him on a corner route. And then what I would recommend is a little motion slant right in here, and then maybe a little little baby in route, right? This is a little wide corner concept, kind of builds around the value of the seam wheel, and also gives you some man beaters um, in case they do run man coverage. Now, another thing that we were seeing a lot of, right, is one of the best ways to attack zone coverage. It is to have essentially a flood concept. So what we're going to do is we're going to streak our outside receiver. We are going to put our left, our um, Herman Moore right here. We're going to put him on a flat. We're going to put George Kittle on a corner. And then we're going to put Michael Thomas on a smart routed in. So as you can see here, it's the same basic thing. We're trying to attack the right side sideline deep down the field. Now, one concept that we really didn't get into much, it's not as popular this year as it was last year, um, is a really good concept for attacking uh, kind of the Y cross series. So what you're going to get here is we're going to take tight end and we're going to put him on a crosser. We're going to put the backside outside receiver on a dig and then we're going to put this flat right here. So again, they're going to have to use the tight end crosser if they want to stop us. If not, we can throw this right here and kind of get it in a soft spot against any kind of zone defense. So the main man beating concepts in this year's game are mesh and shallow cross. And then the main zone beating concepts are Y sail and Y cross, right? That's a way that we can kind of get at the same basic thing. Now, another little piece here that I didn't hit on yet is I think a really, really nice little concept here. So what this is, is we're going to take Herman Moore. We're going to put him on a post. We're going to take uh, Thomas and we're going to put him on a wheel or I apologize, an out route. We're going to put that running back on a seam wheel. And then all we're going to do with uh, C.D. Lamb is we're just going to put him on a whip route. This is a great little what I call stick concept. Basically just the idea is we're going to try to, you know, kind of attack the middle field. This is primarily for if they're running a lot of zone coverage. But if they're running man coverage, we know that high ball wheels against man coverage can get separation. Or, of course, we have this, uh, you know, this post route to the slot receiver, which in this case would be uh, would be Herman Moore. So you'll see right here, if that's taken away, then you'll notice that my post route, as long as I have time, you saw he was coming open over the middle of the field. Now again, getting it attacking the left sideline. So another way that we can attack the left sideline, um, specifically against man coverage, we talked about it already, uh, but the ability to use this C route. So what the C route does is it gives us an ability to attack deep down the left sideline, and again, we're all, it's all about tacking the deep spaces of the field, all the different spaces um, that are on the field. So another example could be maybe we're going to run the running back on an out route. We're going to run Michael Thomas. We're going to run the running back on a wheel route, Michael Thomas on a dig, and then we're going to run you know a flood concept. So what we're attacking here is the middle. We're attacking the right sideline. And then in a, kind of a way, we're attacking the flat and the left sideline. So, again, the bottom line is in any offense that you run, I don't care what it is, you have to be able to attack every space on the field. Um, if you could do that, it makes you a significantly more effective uh, on the offensive side of the ball. So, again, another example, this is the shallow cross game, but we're going to pair that with a sale concept on the right side. So you see how we can kind of, again, with, with just something as simple as having Hot Route Master, we can put ourselves in kind of a, a, a nice position to be able to attack literally everywhere on the field um, and put the opponent in kind of a tough spot in terms of how they're going to defend us. If George Kittle could actually win against man coverage, um, you know, we'd be cooking, right? Now, we didn't even get into any of these audibles here yet today. Uh, we'll save that for a different day. But, you know, again, another really great play is this little post route, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this tight end. We're going to put him on a out route. We're going to now build around this, this post right here. So we're going to take more, motion him over on the slant, 
and then we have the out route and the wheel. So we have the seam wheel concept, and then we also still have the slant post concept, except now we're just getting a little bit more depth on it, and you see how good of a play this is. Again, as for methods, there are many. As for principles, there are few. If you master the principles, you can do anything you want in this game. So this is kind of some of the key takeaways and principles um, from every offense that we looked at in the MCS Ultimate Wildcard Tournament, and really just every offense we've looked at in Madden for a long time. And it's these same basic principles ran at a high level. So learn these principles, shallow cross, mesh, Y sail, Y cross, bench, and then the seam wheel concepts. You learn those six to 10 things, those can cross apply to any formation that you're running. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to do, uh, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure that you join the Patreon. We teach you not only these seven to ten concepts in depth, but we teach you also them from a ton of different formations, as well as unique things to every offensive and defensive ebook that we have. So make sure that you join the Patreon to get access to all of that content. The link is down in the description. Thanks for watching, and be sure to go check out the Patreon page.